voyage of the electric spared net. Okay, that says off. Okay. All right, watch yourself. We're gonna start up the motor. I gotta turn it on here. That's the countdown. <laughs> That's it. Okay, dude. <laughs> okay, something, what happened here? All right, I think you need more runway, more boost. Okay, everything looks okay. Watch your fingers, son. Yeah. The Watch your face, son. <laughs> All right, no big deal. Now, did you were you, did you get it up to full throttle just then? Yeah. Because I think maybe it's not getting full throttle. Maybe we should um, hold it and see if we can throttle it up. Yeah, I agree. Let's. That was kind of good. Yeah. Now I think I think we should back up more. And get more. Yeah, it's just a bottle cap. Oh, okay. Was... I think we should back up more and get more runway for when it does take off. I need more speed. Damn it, Jim! I'm at full throttle. <laughs> All right. Well, I think you know what I've done here is my settings might be incorrect on here. I've got the trim, so maybe this trim needs to go down. Okay. I gotta, I gotta hold on it here, if you wanna. Um, oh, you know what? Okay, we'll set the trim down. <gasps> Whoa! Holy shit! Okay, that sounds better. Yeah, but look, did you see what happened? Oh yeah, I did see that. It pulled forward. What does that mean? It means that this wasn't tight or something. Do you have tools? I don't. It takes an Allen wrench probably, right? Uh, anything that can go in the hole here. That's how you tighten and loosen it. Oh, I got some. Here. There's a door popper on there. Malachi calls them lock picks. This is gonna need a wrench on there. Yeah. I asked him about this. I asked Mikey about this. He said, yeah, it'll be good. <sighs> See, here's the problem. We're spinning this way and I'm tightening this way. Yeah. That's it's a problem. Counterintuitive. Well that's a problem, it's gonna loosen. Right. So that could be what's going on. Um Okay, to set the ESC, you... Off. Should be off. Now, you go to full throttle. I know it sounds crazy. <laughs> sounds like you're in the pole position. Okay. That means it should be set for my... It just took the full throttle. Okay. Do you want to see if you have full throttle? I got yeah. a grip on it. See that? What? It's like it's like it slowed down. It's like it's got slow acceleration. No, it's like it it slowed down past a certain point. Let's try it again. Super hard. All right, throttle down. It's pulling. It's not pulling super hard, but you know, if you get it going fast enough, it'll it'll go. I think so. Uh, you uh, 
you're gonna definitely have to probably give it extra thrust, right, with your ailerons or something? Or no, wait, you wanna keep that neutral. It's just your rudder. Inexperienced pilot here. <laughs> no, me. Yeah. Lift, 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 lift. It did. It got in the air. I saw a wheel go flying though. Did you see that wheel? No. You lost uh, you lost one of your wheels. <laughs> I think it probably just unscrewed. It's in the air. Oh, and the prop ate it. What the? F oh, look at it. Dude. Turn it off. Yeah, as it's like. Yeah, you don't want to get eaten by half a prop. Well, you said you wanted it to fly 10 feet. How do you feel? <laughs> it flew 10 feet, dude. Yeah. It only got a few feet off the ground, but the question is, did what, it? What? Uh, I. You know, it probably just wasn't getting enough lift. But the question is why? Not enough uh, thrust. Too much weight. One thing I didn't do is weigh this. So. Well, I will say that the battery being as far back as it is made me concerned, but you said you had the CG at the right spot, right? Yeah, four somewhere. And a half, four and a half inches from the leading edge. Um, so that's probably good. And it may, it's probably just not getting enough thrust. It's crazy. So, um, your wheel unscrewed itself? Is that what yeah, happened? Yeah, yeah, it's the way that I have it set up here. It unscrewed itself. I need to come up with a better way to mount this up. I, I knew that before. I kind of had a bad feeling. I know. I, I saw where it went. It went this way. If you can't find it, I got another one. It's right here. Oh. Now, where'd the nut go? Probably, it's probably on the on the tarmac that's, somewhere. That's okay. It's see, it, I've got it. The way I have it done here is it just takes a screw through. I'm, I need like a shoulder. I made like a shoulder screw. It Did bottoms. It break? It, no. Well, it un, it unscrewed is what happened. Oh. What I needed to do is I needed to put um, what you call it in there? Super glue? No, 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 no. Uh, Loctite. 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 That's what I did all up here on all the the mounts for everything and the motor. Uh, just before we left, I put Loctite over everything. I'd be interested to see the, the pictures afterwards. Yeah, what happened? The question is, you know, is it underpowered? I, I don't, I don't know. Well, uh, you said that was like, ba that was essentially a 0.32 equivalent motor? Yeah. G32. I mean, it looks big enough. It seems like it should be. I don't know how much more I can go on the pitch, but I know that the, the diameter is an issue unless I make bigger landing gear, which I, we could do. I can make a much longer, but then that <clears throat> plays into when it's sitting on the ground, how far can we go before the tail's dragging? Because that's an issue. Yeah. Oh hell, we can we can go quite a bit. So what I could do is make make a couple. I can make another one of these that would accept my uh, 12 by. I think I got like a 12 by. Uh, no, this is a 12 by 10. I got like a 14 by 7 or something, which is much much bigger. Yeah. What I'm thinking is if you if you hold it up here by the CG point, it balances, right? It should. At that point where it balances, you can see I've marked. Well, it's kind of hard to see now, but it's four and a half inches back from the leading edge of the of the wing. So yeah. So at that point, however, it's balanced. Shouldn't it take off from the runway at see, that angle? I'm holding it at the CG point. You see that it's it's pretty good. I mean, that's how they said it should be balanced. You know, front to rear. Right. So. 
I so don't... so it should have stable flight at that level, at that angle. It should, right. I mean, we just got to get enough air across the wing. Right. So, I mean, maybe, maybe 10, 12. What did I say this was? This is a 12 by, 12 by 10. So maybe a 12 by 10 isn't enough. I don't know. Oh, you're thinking you need to make the landing gear longer to accept yeah. a larger prop. Yeah. So make it this long to make, to, so I'll make two sets of gear. I'll make one, I'll make one longer. I would think you'd need to jack up the back then too, so it's not taken off into a loop. Well, no, I don't think it will. I don't think it will. Plus, I just shortened the length of the rod and back today because I tried to drop the rear end to clear the prop because of the clearance here. I had half an inch and I wanted more, so I dropped the back end. The back, I dropped the back end about an inch already. Huh. So. Oh, I got you. I don't know. I mean, I think it'll be okay. Once it starts flying, it's gonna want to go up, which is what it did. It went. It started to go <laughs> the up trick like this. Is to get it to go up. <laughs> the trick is to get it to go up. Yeah. <laughs> After that, it's all great. Right. Then, then the trick is to get it to come back down. Yeah. Without totally demolishing itself. <laughs> I'd have to say, this is much better than the helicopter ordeal that I've been through. This, this actually is pretty robust, from what I understand. Um, yeah, dude, it's in one piece. Yeah, from what I understand, the, the 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 foam ones that you can buy, if you were to crash it like that, it'd probably be toast. Yeah. People are saying these spads are pretty robust, and, and I believe it because every look. Everything well, what took he, the brunt of the of the crash though? The landing gear the, and the prop. The landing gear and the prop, which maybe I need to also maybe I need to brace, maybe I need a brace here. Um. Uh, I don't know, dude. I think maybe. Let it give a little. You can always bend it back, well, right? Well, see, just like I did. Yeah, I mean, it's not a. It's, it's not like a, built-in bumper. Yeah, I mean, instead of it collapsing everything else, still. Pretty soon here, you're gonna need to put skis down instead of wheels. <laughs> it's gonna be all icy and snowy. This ain't a bad spot. No, this is pretty good. This ain't a bad spot. Nice little. Nice little runway here. You got field. Well, I'm. I'm satisfied with. <laughs> with what happened. I mean, we all know that stuff breaks real bad. I mean, you know, this is ex experiment. All right, man. So we'll get it fixed up and we'll come back for come back for round 2. Yeah. All right. Later.